In this video, we are going to see how to normalize and denormalize in data in Talent. For this purpose, we're using T normalize and T denormalize sorted row. And our input file here will be labels.txt, which is a one file that I'm supplying with the course data in the data in directory. And it has in this structure, right? So you can see there are spaces, there are duplicates, and this is not a really nice format, and that's what you want to improve with this process, right? Here we got the complete end job, but we don't want to use this now. We use an empty job. And first of all, we are going to read this file with a file input a full row. In this component, we are going to define what a file to use, where the file is, okay? So here it's talent data in, and it's uh, labels txt. And now we can output this content to the console with the log row in table mode, connect those two components together, and execute this end job for the first end time. Okay, so here we see the same we just saw in the text editor a moment ago. Now we want to normalize in this data in a first step. So we pass this on to a normalize and component. This normalized component has one line, which is, uh, sorry, one column called a line, which will normalize. Uh, by the way, this component uh, automatically has this uh, schema defined. And that's why we did not have to define a schema here. And we define what the item separator is, which is okay in this case. And we just uh, copy and paste another uh, logo component here for this to show in the normalized and data. All right, so now we see there are 12 rows of input and 35 rows of output, right? And so we have a look at what is in the output. And as we mentioned before already, uh, there are empty values, there are um, spaces at the beginning, at the end of M values, and there are duplicates, right? And this is not what we want in our output. So we go to T normalize in advanced settings we have some options for this. We have the option get rid of and duplicate rows. We can discard trailing empty strings and we can trim the values. And now executing this again, we will just have a 16 rows here, which looks much better. All right, so this is uh, normalize. Okay, so we will write this here as a small a reminder for this and uh, subjob as a small description and we will now pass this data on to buffer output component what does a buffer output and do buffer output is simply puts this and uh, data in memory okay and in the next uh, subjob we will read that again from a memory reading again a buffer is using the buffer input uh, component okay and this buffer input component now has a no schema uh, but it needs a schema so we can just go to the buffer output component, edit schema, control A, control C to copy the schema from here. And here we go again to edit schema and control V to paste in this schema. All right, and that's it for the schema part. And now we want obviously to, uh, for this subjob to be okay before executing this down here. So we connect on subjob okay to our buffer input component. And now we are going to first sort the data because we are going to use and then a denormalize a sorted row and a one more a log row output to show the again denormalized but in a better format denormalized and data. All right, so here we connect this buffer input to a sort row. Now we define what to sort. Line is the only column, so it's automatically the correct one. We want to sort that of a numeric um, values in ascending order. And we pass this information and now to our denormalize sorted row, right? And there's also a denormalize uh, without a sorted row. Okay, you could also use this one and leave out the sort row, but I think it's better here. But for the denormalize sorted row, we need, need a a number here, input a rows account, okay? And we can get this from a buffer input component. We can see that in our outline. We have a buffer input here 
and it supplies after execution a NB line. All right, and this is what we want to use here. So how to retrieve this? You write parts of the name here, T buffer I for T buffer input, and then control space. And there are the two variables from this component and press return on NB line. And it's converted into this fragment of code to obtain the variable from global map. And then I pass this information to the target component. I don't say yes here, I say no. And I prefer to say sync columns here in order not to mix up anything here. All right, and now we have to uh, obviously define what and how to denormalize. Uh, there is only one column here. No, not yet, because we don't have an output schema yet. So we should uh, first define this by taking all input columns to the output and propagating and these and changes. So we now have line here. And as a delimiter, we will take, like in the original input, a comma again. Right? And now to make it nicer, we can uh, describe those tilo rows a bit better. Uh, normalized. Right? Uh, we can copy this string here and write d. Sorry, the normal is. Oops, no, that was uh, wrong. <laughs> I did not want to copy all those components. I don't know how this happened. Uh, the normalize. <laughs> not yet. And uh, now I got it. I think. All right. Okay. And so we also call that here the normalize. Okay, I like these um, labels for local components because they make information, at least while you're developing, much easier to read on the console. And by the way, if you don't need a TLRO component anymore, at least for a moment, you can still just deactivate and this logo component and the rest of the job will still work. Now it will just won't show us the original input, but we will see the normalized output uh, after reading from the file, and we will see in the no, new denormalized output we would be able to put in a file or somewhere else. But and this is all for now on how to normalize and denormalize a data in Talent.